Hey, what's up, Leo? We're going to get into your read here for May. Hope you guys are doing well. And let's jump right into it. These are general reads. Take what resonates and leave the rest out here. Let's see what's going on here for Leo. What messages are coming out here for Leo? First card coming out. We do have the Four of Cups. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy here. Queen of Wands. Aries Leo Sag. Oh, we'll take this one here. We do have the full card, and let's get the overall and advice for Leo here. You definitely see some sort of new path here, Leo. Overall advice, we do have the, wow, look at this, the Ten of Swords. All right, we're going to get deeper into that one. Now, the Ten of Swords, when I see this one as the overall energy and advice card, it's kind of like... Um, you know, like I said, we have this new beginning. I do feel like the Queen of Wands energy is you. I do feel like you do see this. You're investing into something new. You're definitely moving towards a new path here. But there's also a needing to release something. All right. So there is something in your energy that's holding you back. I don't know if this is a relationship. I don't know if this is something that has been done to you in the past or can be betrayal in some way. But, you know, the Four of Cups here, you know, in the past energy, it's like you, you were focusing on something here that wasn't wasn't really great you know maybe you're just really putting energy into something that wasn't fulfilling you you know and can go a lot of different ways could be relationships work whatever this is but i feel like with the four of cups energy it's like you do see that fourth cup you do see the universe offering you something which is technically the ace of cups right and the ace of cups to me you know can be self-love it can be those type of energies but also it is that creative energy right so it's something here that you're starting to see and moving towards something new that queen of wands energy she's very bold she's very fearless um she's not letting anyone hold her back she's going to get what she wants and the full card is just a confirmation that you are starting a new beginning into something here but but there is something you need to release so let's get deeper into this here because there it's like this energetic thing where you know you're trying to start something brand new like just say for example you're going into a new relationship but if you bring any sort of um past thoughts of you know this person in the past did this to me or this person you know um said this to me or you bring in any sort of past uh, issues to your new connection it's going to cause issues you know it's going to it's going to turn into this ten of swords type of energy again so you're repeating some sort of cycle but this fool that's over here in the future energy it is a new beginning to something here. So, um, you know, if you're if you're investing into or starting a new project or um, wanting to start your own business, whatever it is, there is this sense of needing to let go of past failures and and just uh, you know have this acceptance that hey, you know, something in the past didn't work out because it was meant to be. And I feel like that's going to be that uh, really really helpful here in some sort of new start to something. All right, let me see the four of cups here for Leah. We do have Temperance coming out, Sagittarius energy here. Let me see the Queen of Wands. You were really, you know, waiting for this opportunity. You know, there, you, were, you were sitting there really looking at some options, uh, really hoping that some situations have, you know, would work out for you. But, you know, with Temperance being over here in the Four of Cups, it's kind of like you've, you've waited to see what would feel good for you. And I feel like you're starting to move in that direction. Now, there isn't this this energy or feeling that, you know, this is exactly what you wanted. Um, you, you're not sure. You know, there's some unsureness that I'm picking up in your energy here. But you're also using your intuition and moving forward with it. There is this this attitude of like, you know, let's just see what happens, right? Let's see this Queen of Wands. What is this Queen of Wands here for Leo? We do have the Knight of Pentacles coming out here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Let's take a look at the Fool. What is the full card here for Leo? The Knight of Cups. And let's take a look at this Ten of Swords real quick here. We have the Lover's card. All right. So, you know, there is a new... For some of you guys, there's an opportunity in a new connection. Or maybe you guys are already talking to somebody new. Um, for others of you, there's definitely this feeling of needing to let go of something that has been done to you in the past. And I do feel like I'm connecting with those Leos that has been, it's been a while, all right? So maybe you've been waiting for someone to come back around. Maybe you've been waiting for some sort of truth to come out. But I kind of feel like with that Ten of Swords and the Lover's card, you know, there is this sense that, um, you know, letting go of this past 
connection. Sometimes the lover's card can be that divine connection too. But with that Ten of Swords being over there, I kind of feel like you thought this was a, a divine connection. You thought that the past person was the one for you. But I do feel like with this Knight of Cups and the Fool card, there's a new beginning. There's a new connection. There's a new opportunity here. Okay. Now, the lover's card doesn't have to be romantic all the time. It can also be a partnership. It could be something here that you came together with, with another person, a situation, and it didn't work out. Okay. So the advice here is definitely to let go of the past and, and, um, and start focusing on what you're trying to create. But it's a very, look at this, the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, right? So it's a slow energy moving towards something that you really love to do or moving towards a connection that you um, want to move into, but taking your time with it, not really jumping into something. But the Queen of Wands is 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 standing, it feels very strong, okay? The Queen of Wands is kind of um, in this energy of making things happen, but also not in an energy of... Um, you know, just just rushing into something again with temperance being in the reading here. It's definitely a card of patience um, and and taking time into something here. Let's get some more here. Let me see this four of cups with the temperance card. We do have the moon. Let's see the queen of wands with the knight of pentacles. The ace of cups here. Let's take a look at the Fool with the Knight of Cups. I mean, you guys have done a lot of work within yourself here. I mean, and as I said, that what popped in my head right away was that there could be some Leos here that I'm connecting with that feel as though they're not doing the work or they feel like, you know, things are not just happening for them or maybe things are in a standstill or whatever it is. It's like I feel like you're, you're not really... Um, taking a look at where you were before and where you are now and i feel like you need to give more credit to yourself okay because there, there's an energy here of really coming out of something that has been really bad for you in the past or someone that has betrayed you in the past here it's like you're letting go you know maybe the, that that advice card of yeah for some of you guys you need to let something go and not not even not even expect any sort of communication or some truth or something to you know finalize um for others of you, it's it's kind of one of those things where you just have to, um, or you guys have been um, in this acceptance energy and moving forward into something new here. But there is a healing here as well. Let me see the full card with the Knight of Cups. Full card with the Knight of Cups here. The oh, what is this? The Five of Pentacles. Wow. The full card with the Knight of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. Leo, you know this is an energy here that you're moving into this new beginning, but you kind of feel like. You kind of feel like there's nothing that's going to come from it. You you are trusting yourself. Queen of Wands is sitting over here and saying, I, I, I believe it. You know, I'm not losing faith. But but there is that that feeling inside that goes, well, you know, it, nothing really happened good for me in the past. Or maybe you're not having the support. Or maybe you don't feel like whatever you you know, you're trying to start new here doesn't feel like, you know, this is the right path right now. But um, but again, with the full card and the Knight of Cups here, there is something here about trusting something here. Trust that something is going to turn away. You know, a lot of this Five of Pentacles is because of this Ten of Swords. You, you just feel like in the past things were not happening for you. So you feel like, what's going to happen? I'm going to put my energy into something. It's going to happen again, right? So that mentality, that mindset is making you think a cycle is going to repeat. But I kind of feel like there's a brand new beginning here that you need to totally let go and put your, you know, whatever time and energy and trust that something here is going to work out because the four of cups, it's like the universe is offering you something, but you were focused on something else. And it's like, now it's like, trust that this, this opportunity, this ace of cups is something that is going to be exactly what you wanted. All right. Let me see this 10 of swords here with the lover's card. We have the knight of swords here. I mean, we are in retrograde. I mean, there can be this, this wanting this communication to come towards you. I don't feel like communications coming in you know i don't feel like you know or a message coming in or something that's gonna someone's gonna try to clarify something here i kind of feel like this knight of swords energy is just this hope that someone something from the past is gonna going to um clear something up but i but i feel like your advice is to kind of move away from this again the knight of swords is like let's move forward let's get away from this and let's move fast you know what i mean because there is an opportunity that you have or you will have that is going to take off but you're gonna feel very um you know, and I feel like when I'm the way I'm saying this, it's not like you're going to feel lonely, like there's no support or anything. 
it's just this feeling within yourself is what I'm getting. It's like you just feel like there's something missing and empty here. Okay. Um, let me get one more card in this five of pentacles. We do have the ten of pentacles. Nice. So, I mean, you feel like things are not going to work out. But, I mean, like, I do feel like you're moving towards a path that is going to bring you what you want. And I feel like it can be family environments. It can be work environments. Um, you know, you are moving towards it. It doesn't feel like in the month of May that, you know, and I hope it does for a lot of you guys. But, you know, it just feels like you're going to get clarification that this is my path. This is the route I need to move towards. Something is gonna, going to spark within yourself here that says, this is what I need to do. You know, this is what feels good. And, and I feel like when you do that, that's going to open up a lot of things, open up your mind here to a lot of new opportunities. Okay. A lot of letting go. And look at this, the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck here. So there is this truth, clarity, but I feel like it's coming within yourself that's helping you move forward. And maybe that is a period of needing to dig deep with that moon card and tackle things that have been affecting you. You know, why Why have you been worried about a situation? Or why can't you trust other people? Why can't you start a new relationship? Why are you thinking about a past person or a situation, you know? Why can't you start this new project? Why are you, um, um, you know, why is something in the past on your mind all the time? And I feel like that when you do take that time to focus on that and see the whys and get the answers for it, I feel like that's going to clarify or at least clear things up and move. And there's definitely a new beginning here that's for you. So, Leo, that's what I got. I mean, I hope that does help. That's what's uh, coming out for you guys. And if it does help, please do hit that like button. Um, if you guys have not subscribed and you feel like we vibe here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell for notifications. And uh, until next time, we'll see you. you guys have a good one.